All right, you're here with Mike Messier with the Ric Flair documentary, Nature Boy uh, Review and Analysis. I think the piece speaks for itself. Um, I mean, I guess you'd have to see the piece, but in case you want to know my thoughts, I liked it. Uh, I do like it a lot. It brings back a lot of good memories. Um, you know, obviously the clips of the 92 Rumble things. I guess the only thing that I would have liked to have seen more of um, is really the Jim Hurd thing. Is It just was funny. I was just texting a friend of mine. Hey, they didn't mention Jim Hurd and, and the repercussions of the Flair Hurd uh, not being on the same page. Jim Hurd, of course, was an executive, a top executive at WCW. 1991, Rick was the champion. Hurd did not uh, acknowledge or understand the power of Ric Flair. So Flair went to WWF. So that transitionary time was kind of... Uh, really just not even gone into. Maybe there just wasn't enough time in the doc. Maybe they filmed interviews in the doc and didn't have time. This turned out to be a 90-minute piece. I was expecting a full two hours. Um, but I guess the nuances and every little goddamn detail of the pro wrestling industry may not be, uh, you know, what they want for ESPN. Maybe, uh, you know, you can watch plenty of uh, documentaries, interviews about Ric Flair uh, to find that Jim Hurd stuff. Overall, the animation was great. Like the animation a lot. Um, the pace was great. The one thing about these ESPN docs, they don't do a lot of commercials. So it's just like kind of like go time. They don't really have a lot of commercials. Uh, Charlotte looked great. Uh, the, the, of course, what I was kind of avoiding talking about in, in my, you know, kind of uh, hype um, promos for this, this doc, which I have nothing to do with, obviously, just a fan, but... Um, you know, they, they, it's tough to think about uh, burying a child, a uh, son, uh, very dramatic and very uh, heartfelt. And you can see the pain with Rick and the family and everybody. So, you know, uh, just, just a horrible situation. And, and I think Reed would uh, be proud of his father and of, of the whole family and how they've conducted themselves. Uh, the Charlotte passing the torch, uh, great. Um, the other children, uh, you know, obviously... Wrestling fans from WCW are familiar with David Flair. And uh, the oldest uh, daughter, um, it's good to see that she's enjoying her life. Uh, you know, the, ex, the ex-wife, the uh, ex the first wife, uh, very uh, nice of her to be involved in this thing. And uh, overall, you get a lot of respect for this movie. Um, I, it's something that, you, something that I'll keep in my canon of ESPN films. I'll keep it recorded. Um... You know, it's it's one of those things I'd like to watch it again. I do really enjoy it. I, I do like it. I guess it's just one of those things, and I think this is just the nature of the beast. With, with being a Ric Flair fan, that's my hand, by the way, um, you want more. You want more of this. You know, and you would want another half hour or a mini series or whatever the fuck. But overall, big kudos uh, to the filmmaker uh, for tackling this, and also kudos... Uh, for it is, uh, you know, Ric Flair who had the guts to put his life on the line like this, meaning he had the c courage to speak on these issues that are affecting, you know, his life and his legacy and, and his, his interpretation of the world. So, uh, no real, crit no, I mean, I had my critiques. My basic critique was, would have liked to see a little more of the herd thing because I think, um, you know, that's something that I think did have a, an effect on his life. But overall, I really enjoyed the doc. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it a, a big thumbs up, you know. And um, to Rick, if he does happen to see this video, which he may or may not, hey, you, you are the man. Never forget that. Um, you know, and look, everyone's got a story. So so maybe Rick, you know, wasn't as there for his own kids as much as he's like to have been. But for millions of kids in the world, young men... Uh, young women even, I'm sure, who always got a, a great enjoyment out of watching Ric Flair's matches, those 20 minutes on TBS on a Saturday night of Ric Flair, those 45 minutes on a pay-per-view, or even going to the live shows like many of us did, don't underestimate that, Rick, because that meant something too. Now, it may not be the same as seeing your own children perform, you know, in the, in the play or whatever they were doing at, at the school, but for the people who are watching you wrestle, it did mean a lot. So I don't know if that means anything to him or not. But Rick can kind of think of himself as uh, uh, someone who meant something to a lot of people. 
you know, beyond his own family, if that's any consolation to him and, and, and how he's putting his own life and his own spectrum of things into perspective, remember that his fans, you did a lot for us, Nature Boy, and I can go into that some other time, but, but anyway, uh, Ric Flair, Nature Boy, 30 for 30, uh, the filmmaker who I've been, you know, following here on, uh, Rory, Corp, Corp, uh, uh, so good job, Rory, and uh, so forth and so on.